Okay, um, let's say you have a company and the company is an IT company. It doesn't have to be an IT company, huh? but this is just an example to make it a little bit easy so you can understand. Let's say you acquire a lot of projects or apps or whatever. And as a company, you can have in your policy that when you acquire something, it needs to have these type of acceptable encrypted encryption policy. So the, it needs to have this encryption policy, this, 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 this. Otherwise, you will not buy it or otherwise you will not do business with those kind of people. Some people use this also as excuse like, hey, do not meet the acceptable cryptocurrency of, of um, our policy, acceptable encryption, encryption policy. So sometimes some company don't accept things because those things doesn't meet the encryption policy. And what you can do is you can create your own and you say, hey, we only accept this um, encryption policy. The uh, algorithm needs to meet this requirement. Most time, th th those requirements are basic and most people, they do meet those requirements. But sometimes you have companies that don't meet the requirement. And you could be like, hey, because you don't meet the requirement, I am not going to do any business with you. It all depends on you. But it's... Another thing when you, for example, acquire a company on platform, you can say, hey, listen, um, you need to make sure that you meet these requirements. Otherwise, we cannot buy it. And you can talk about this in the negotiation because if you need to um, incorporate this in the system of them, it costs a lot of money. So you can bring the price down during negotiation. That's the way how you can see it. So acceptable encryption policy, not a lot of people think about that. But if you're a company and you're serious about the services that you provide and your customers, think about this. Say, hey, according to the law, I need to meet this minimum requirement. The policy for my company will be I'm going to meet these minimum requirements or more. That's technically how you need to see it. I think it's a good thing. Not a lot of people know about it and not a lot of people use it. But if you are interested in using it, you will find the link in the description how you can start out. If, if you be like, hey, I have question about it, just go on Discord and contact me. You will also find other um, contact information so you can contact me. And if I can help you, I will help you out. I hope you like this video. I will see you in the next one.